is strategically, how does Akamai look at AI? So AI is an interesting topic. One, because like cloud before it and many other topics before it, it's become completely overblown in the media. But when we look at what do we mean by AI, think about it first and foremost as businesses are looking to develop a strategy for harnessing the power and potential of AI. Part of that is experimenting with building and training large language models. I, I believe many industry analysts believe that the majority of companies will end up consuming large language models from a commercial vendor as opposed to building and training the models themselves. And that's simply because the differentiation for many businesses will come in the way that they can leverage AI for inferencing use cases. So think about it as anything from uh, the early forays into intelligent chatbots, the way that Microsoft and OpenAI are looking to enable co-pilots with Copilot Studio and some of the investments that they're making there. Uh, and increasingly, different verticals looking at how they can provide a more custom, personalized experience to their users, hyper-personalization in commerce, uh, providing better matchmaking and better in-game services from a gaming perspective. For media, it would be custom manifests and the ability to deliver exactly the sort of tailored interactive media experience that a sports user might want to see or somebody might want to experience in a betting context. And so there's a lot of ways that AI is helping to take large amounts of data, process it very quickly and deliver an outcome that is not something that was hard coded in the application beforehand. Now that's sort of the obvious, that's how businesses are looking at AI today. If we look at Akamai's security business, we've been seeing many um, threat actors starting to leverage AI for nefarious purposes, making bots more intelligent, using AI as a way to, to more intelligently or more effectively spoof real sites, real users to defraud businesses or ultimately to take advantage of individuals. And so we've had to build AI into our security platform as well so that we can have AI effectively fighting AI in a way that we can use data and intelligence that we've derived from the network to start to detect human versus bot interaction. And then I think there's just the, the last part, which is how do you power all of these things, whether it's a business looking to extend its business model and do a better job of engaging with customers, whether it's you trying to fight against the, the rise of nefarious AI activity online. And that is a, a platform that we've been building with our compute services, which will help you take lightweight compute, whether it's that AI inferencing that we spoke about or things like computer vision or the ability to, to build intelligent chatbots and extend that closer to where users are. Because if you imagine the way that anybody wants to integrate or, or leverage AI, they want it to be quick. They want it to feel magical. They want it to feel personalized for them. And all of those things are going to require effective data processing in close proximity to where the user or the service is engaging with the AI in the first place. And since you mentioned AI inferencing, so I would love to also help you, our viewers, understand what is AI inferencing and how is Akamai leveraging it? If you think about the difference between AI and a large language model and then the inference on top of it, the, the large language model is your body of knowledge. Think about it as um, everything that might be stored up in your brain. So if you've got to train you know, something over time, you're going to take lots of data and lots of inputs, provide a, a large amount of time for that data to be uh, turned into basically something that can respond to a voice or a text prompt. Now, the prompting is where we actually apply the inference. So now we want to use that data, that knowledge that we've built up to make decisions on something in a very short amount of time. So the, the inference will occur when there is a question or something interrogates the model, and then you are using that in order to derive an answer in real time based on uh, basically a, an understanding of the text or the prompt itself going against this large body of knowledge. So it's think about it as, as very heavyweight processing to learn and then very lightweight processing in order to apply that learning to something in real time.